Okay, let's start with the transaction ID that we know belonged to the entity that we're going to be tracking. This transaction ID are the stolen coins on the input side and where they went to on the output side. Uh, and from his 50 Bitcoin output, they go into a Wasabi mix. But let's look at this through the um, transaction graph visualizer and see if we can't figure something out. So first thing is we're going to look at this transaction. Again, we have the inputs and one output. We're going to open up this one output. So we know this is the target, so we're going to mark it orange. This one output is a Wasabi mix, as you can see. Uh, we know 50 Bitcoin went in, and it's the largest uh, input in the entire mix. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that there was a change output here of 43.99, so this is our uh, entity that we are tracking. Go ahead and mark this as them. So on our second mix here, we again go down and we expand the unmixed change and we follow along. Again, we will mark this as our entity. In the third mix, we go ahead and expand the unmixed change again follow them along. This is the fourth mix. On the fourth mix we can see that this 25 Bitcoin uh, output has been clustered, meaning that an address was reused somewhere. What we'll do is we will expand this as it enters into the fifth mix. One, two, three, four, and five. On the fifth mix, we could keep going down the peel chain and expanding and following, but we have something interesting to look into. We have this uh, entity called a non-241. If we go ahead and within this transaction, see if, oops, see if this has been uh, used. This entity is, appears multiple times, uh, and we can see that there's two of two matches. So let's go to the first match, which is right here. So there's the same entity. In fact, it's the same address, BC1QX, uh, 25 Bitcoin input. And then let's look again, see the next one. Up oh, here it is. This is a 0 0.4 uh, BTC mixed output. So if we open this up, we know that this is belonging to our entity that we're tracking. This is a mixed output, so we're going to open that up. Uh, we'll mark these as our person of interest. And we'll mark this mixed output that they sent as our person of interest. If we look at where that transaction was sent to, um, we can see it was used with a consolidation of six inputs. Each one of these inputs belongs to our uh, entity that we're tracking and each one of these inputs is a mixed input so we're just going to open each one up so here he is here he is open this one each one of these are coming from wasabi mixes that we know belong to uh, our user that we're tracking this, 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 and this. He sent it to a single address, all six of them. So we know this is him as well. And then he sent that to Poloniex, which is a centralized KYC exchange. So all chain analysis had to do was follow the unmixed change until they reached this point where they noticed uh, address reuse combining the 25 Bitcoin change from this mix and a post mix output. That post mix output is right here. 
because of this one Postmix output that's connected to this mix, uh, unmixed change, we're able to associate all of these Postmix outputs to this entity. And because they spent it to Poloniex, anyone who is, um, has a relationship with Poloniex, like Chainalysis, um, could ask them for more information. Poloniex has KYC information, so all they have to do is look in their records and can provide identity, identity information to uh, law enforcement or anyone who's asking. So that's how this happened. It all happened because of the address reuse um, on an unmixed and post-mixed change.